to Brandon and Charles. Brandon McManus to kick off for Denver. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Now this will make it into the end zone. And this will be a touchback. No return from Isabella. Here comes Blake Bortles now to lead his offense back out there. And he's had some time to chew on that interception he threw on his last drive back in the first half. Well, normally we say, well, I'll get him right back out on the field and play again, right? But as you mentioned, had the halftime, had to stew about it a little bit. Maybe he'll have a chance to relax a little and kind of laugh and chuckle and let it go. He'll hope to respond positively here to start the third quarter. Now throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. to mark him down at the 39. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. On first and 10, here's Bortles. Open man completes it to Butler. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. For midfield, here's Bortles. That's complete to Butler. And he's got this down to the 35. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Drake. Get this one down to about the 20 yard line. That's another gain of 15 on back to back plays. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Drake again. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Third touchdown pass of the game for Blake Bortles. And the Cardinals push further out in front. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. man five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead so that drives six plays 75 yards and the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown now after the touchdown here's Gonzalez on to kick it away and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback
The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. At halftime, you had to feel like the defense had to be in a good position. They had to feel good about themselves. They'd had this guy boxed in all game long, but after that run, that might be the breakthrough that he's looking for. Now they may have some difficulty dealing with him the rest of today. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. The safety boot of Baker there to force the incompletion. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now here's a throw that's complete. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. That's complete to Jake Butt. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. They'll drop the throw. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down and a yard. Normally when you see a short gain in the middle of a 3-4 defense, go ahead and pat the nose tackle on the back because he's holding things up and taking on extra blockers, which allows one of the inside linebackers to roam free and make the tackle. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. Manis able to put it through. And they're hanging around here as the lead's down to 12. So his third field goal of the ball game brings him a bit closer, but there's no question. They need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And sevens and probably even eights. You know, as a kicker, you just head out when you're called upon, so he's done his job. It's the rest of the offense that needs to get it in gear. They want to close this gap. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And this will be a touchback. No return from Isabella. The football going back over to Arizona now. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time. A drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions. Distributing the ball well. Distributing it accurately. Keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense. What adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Close some guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing. And then throw them the ball. See if they can 
been disrupted here. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you can hit the jackpot there. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Show a first and ten now in Denver territory at the 46. They'll run with Drake. Inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Ten more there and another first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So from the 36 now, first and ten. Throwing his Bortles. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Bortles now on first down. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Draymond Jones. He's the culprit dropping him for a two-yard loss. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Now, following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Another try after the first down sack. Bortles, and that is incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Throwing his Bortles on third down. Flush it, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Demarcus Walker drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. And they run the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. Now the former Sun Devil, Zane Gonzalez, for the field goal try. This from 54 yards away. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that will make this now a 15-point advantage. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. And coming out now, the Broncos. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. 
That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That was a pretty favorable situation there. Would you call that second and manageable? Smart play, Tim. Didn't fix it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Preseason football on EA Sports. Throwing on second down. Driscoll, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Cardinals have got it. Go the other way. And they bring this one back. They've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. That's what they've done all game long. Gonzalez to add the PAT. Two points. The scoop and score are always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone, and this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And Denver getting set to take the field. Try and start this drive in the air. Complete out right to Jake Butt. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. A gain of six there on first. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 11 yards there, first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. 36 yards on the play. There's certainly a lot of quality receivers on this team, so he's no lock to make this squad, but the way he's got to do it, make every routine catch that comes his way, and mix in some of the big-time ones like the one we just saw there. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That is caught inside the five. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 
Add this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run here with Connor. And he will find his way into the end zone for a Bronco touchdown. James Connor ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Broncos cut into that lead. Now he's doing his part, but still facing a sizable deficit. And he would like to do more. But he needs help from the other two-thirds, right? He needs his defense to bow up a little bit. And he also needs special teams to maybe create some big plays and help them get back in it. And now the offense is going to stay out there as the Broncos will go for two. They'll look to throw. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Drake will start the drive on the ground. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw so through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. They stay on the ground with Drake. And he's got some space here. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 44-yard line. Now a handoff for Drake. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. So that'll back him up five. 
second down now. It's Drake. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. You've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. From the gun on third down, Bortles. He's got his man, it's Butler. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down when his way worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Counter play, Drake shoves him away. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Jerry Atauchu brings him down. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Right back to Drake. Gets through and now an opening. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Cardinals. Kenyon Drake, 33 yards. And the Cardinals will extend their lead. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. And that PAT pushes the lead up to 23 now. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the exclamation mark at the end was Kenyon Drake's touchdown run. Same Gonzalez to kick off for Arizona. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Set to take over. The Broncos offense trots back out. First and 10. Six 
from the gun, it's Drake. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. The run got four, now they deal with a second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Drake, and he'll be down close to the first down marker as he gets this to the Broncos 22. It's a six yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The Cardinals on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. They'll have a first down inside the 10. And finally wrestled down at the eight yard line. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. 